Allison, let's say I'm a 25 year old and I want to get it started in investing and I'm going to do it the smart way. I'm going to put money away every month. What do you suggest I buy? Well, the very first thing before you buy anything is to know where your account is. If your RSP is at the branch level, you're going to be restricted to the bank's own mutual fund products. So if it is there, I suggest you transfer it to the bank's brokerage arm. That way you have a wide variety of stocks, bonds, and ETFs to choose from. So once you've made that decision, you've got your, your account in the right place. The second thing is what? Well, for beginning investors, I'm a huge fan of exchange-traded funds. Okay, now I want to ask you here, their exchange-traded funds are a hot product. They're indexed, mainly they're index tracking funds that trade like a stock, but there's way more money in mutual funds, and mutual funds have a lot more visibility. Um, you prefer ETFs? Tell me why. I prefer ETFs because it's really tough to pick a good mutual fund. It really is. And it's a commission-based industry, so the chances are you may end up with funds simply because they pay higher uh, commissions and have higher MERs, which isn't good for the investor. Instead, for a beginning investor, I suggest three investments, one ETF for bonds, one for Canadian equities, one for U.S. equities, you're done. Super simple. I like that idea. Now, in closing, I wonder if you could just explain to everybody how you buy and sell ETFs. An ETF is like a security or like a bank stock or CN. It's listed on the exchange. It has a ticker symbol. All of the ETF providers uh, have very good websites, actually, and you can find the, the various ETFs there. You buy it through the brokerage. You could call up or do it online, say, I want 100 shares of this bond ETF. It's very simple. Great. Thanks, Allison.